Hey everyone, welcome back to Awesome or Pop. Today I'm super excited to be hanging out with Cody. We're gonna go on an adventure. Let's drop him into his car seat. We wanna make sure he's nice and secure for safety. There we go. Now we're ready for an adventure. Why don't you tell everyone where we're going, Cody? We're going to the beach and we're gonna play in the sand and the water. Yep, we should grab some food beforehand so you're not hungry at the beach. Yeah, we should eat now so our food doesn't get sandy. Good point. What would you like? Oh, oh, there's a McDonald's. Can we go there, please, please? Yeah, sure. I'll pull into the drive-thru so we can eat on the road. Can I order by myself, please? I can do it. I'm a big boy. Okay, if you want to. Yay, thank you. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Hi, it's Cody. Can I have a Happy Meal, please? Would that be with a burger or nuggets? A burger, please. And can I have no pickles, but still lettuce, tomato, and cheese? And extra crispy fries. Got it. And for your drink? Oh, apple juice, please. Not a problem. Anything else? For dessert, can I have vanilla ice cream? With the chocolate sauce on top. Great choice. Will that be all? No, that's it for me, I think. Okay, please pull forward to the next window. Let's put in his order. He said he wanted a Happy Meal. With a burger fries for his drink and a sundae for dessert that comes out to seven dollars thank you very much your food will be out shortly here's your order thank you thank you Thank you for my food and for my toy. Can I see the toy first, please, please? I'm too excited. Yeah, sure, here you go. Wow, it's a truck. Look at the thingy on top. What does it do? It shoots when you press this button. Cool. I like that. I'm going to play with that after I eat. Can I have my sandwich, please? Here's your burger with tomato, lettuce, cheese, and no pickles. Just white. And here are some fries. Extra crispy, just the way I like it. Can I have my juice, please? Yeah, here's the apple juice. Time for dessert. Yummy, I love ice creams. Well, now, are we at the beach yet? Nope, we still got a while to go. Do you want to read a book to pass the time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we read the Clifford book? He goes to the beach, too. Great idea. I have it right here. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. On the front of this book is Clifford along with Emily Elizabeth and her friends. They're all dressed up in costume. On the back, it says, join Clifford on a colorful adventure. Clifford, Emily Elizabeth, and their friends are playing hide and seek. But Clifford is too big and red to stay hidden. Can Emily Elizabeth help her friend find the perfect hiding spot? Decorate every page of the story, then let it dry and do it again. If we flip to this page and open the hidden door, we'll find the pen. We just need to unscrew it and add some water to it. Give it a few seconds for the tip to absorb the water and it'll be ready to go. Look at how big Clifford is. He towers over the children. Emily Elizabeth and her friends are playing Animal Star Rangers Hide and Seek. Clifford wants to play too. After filling up your pen, use it to fill in the white wonder spots. All of her friends are dressed up in a different costume. Sam has whiskers. Pablo has an awesome helmet. Jack has alien antennas. And Emily Elizabeth has some animal ears. And they're all enjoying a nice beverage. They need all the energy they can get to run and hide. Sam is it. Clifford, Emily Elizabeth, Jack, and Pablo hide behind the store. But the store is too small. Sam finds them right away. That looks like a small food store. I think you're right. It's more like a stand, so it's way too small to hide Clifford. Coloring Clifford's red tail. 
His tail is sticking out like a sore thumb. It looks like we need a bigger hiding place, says Emily Elizabeth. That was a nice try, but they have to try harder. Clifford is very big and very red. Let's see where they go next. Ooh, looks like they're by the water now. Clifford tried hiding in the trees. I see him! Yep, not even the trees are big enough to hide him. He hides behind the lighthouse. His nosy is sticking out. <laughs> this spot almost worked, but his snout is still sticking out. Better luck next time, team! And he hides behind the paintings at the art store. It's a rainbow! Yeah, the store has a colorful rainbow on top. Check out that giant paintbrush, too. Now let's see if we can see Clifford. He's behind all the paintings. There's a painting of a house. Clifford and Emily Elizabeth. An abstract painting. A boat. And a water fountain. All of these paintings aren't enough to hide Clifford the big red dog. It's back to the drawing board. We need to find a spot that Clifford can play too. Looks like we're at the beach now. Maybe he can hide here. Clifford tried hiding on the beach, but Sam always finds him. Clifford is just too big and too red to stay hidden. Reveal where Clifford is hiding. We can play with Clifford and the ball. Clifford loves playing fetch. He's behind the chairs. Yeah, he tried hiding behind the lifeguard chair, but that's way too small and thin. It barely covers him at all. Where to next, friends? Clifford tells Emily Elizabeth to play without him, but Emily Elizabeth won't give up. She and her friends will find a way for Clifford to play too. They're such good friends. No one should be left behind. Let's decorate Emily Elizabeth and her friends' costumes. Here's Pablo. And Jack. And Emily Elizabeth is leading the way. Oh, it looks like they have an idea. Let's see what it is. What if Clifford used camouflage like the chameleon in our favorite Animal Star Ranger story? Pablo asks. That's a great idea, says Emily Elizabeth. They're inspired by their book and they're going to use the ideas to help Clifford out. Camouflage is when animals change colors to match what's around them. Then they can hide anywhere. Reveal how the chameleon changes color. The chameleon is changing from green to purple. Chameleons can adapt to their surroundings and change colors. This way they can hide in plain sight. If Clifford hides in front of things that are big and red, he will be camouflaged too. He walked right past him. Yeah, that guy didn't even see him right next to him. I think this is gonna work. The friends search for something big and red. They find a fire truck. That's the perfect place for Clifford to hide, Emily Elizabeth says. Clifford is crouched down just like the truck. Sam walks by, but she doesn't see Clifford. He's camouflaged. Where is he gonna hide next? Then Clifford hides again, a barn on the farm. He blends right in, coloring Clifford's hiding spot. Whoa, this barn is perfect. Not only is it huge, but it's the same color. Sam walks right past him but doesn't suspect a thing. Where to next, team? Next, Clifford hides in a big field full of red flowers. Sam looks around, but she can't spot him. Where is Clifford? Sam asks. Camouflage Clifford by filling in the flowers. All of the flowers are hiding him in plain sight. All he has to do is lay low and not make a sound and no one will see him. Finally, they find a way so that Clifford can participate in hide and seek. Finally, Clifford and his friends come out of hiding. His camouflage worked. What a game of hide and seek. They look happy. Yeah, they're happy because they get to play together. And everyone's included. This interactive book was so much fun. If you want to see me read more Water Wonder books, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. The end and perfect timing. We just made it to the beach. Well, this was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks!